Hey everyone, in today's video I wanted to take a look at what would be the process of importing a GIF file as a reference inside Maya. So we have all seen amazing funny uh, GIF animations of various types, right? From funny uh, dances to maybe walk cycles to various other uh, things. And a lot of times when I see it as a uh, artist or as an animator, I always think to myself, man, it would be so cool to try to import one of them into Maya and see if I can use it as a reference. Even just a rough guidance, right, for uh, even something like this, like you're seeing here, just a, you know, a run cycle, right? So how would you go about, what would be the step-by-step -step process of importing a GIF file into uh, Maya, right? What would be the easiest way? So unfortunately, you can't just simply import a GIF file straight into Maya. Maya does not support GIF uh, sequence uh, animations, but let me show you what you can do. All right, so obviously the first step would be to find a GIF file that you like, or maybe that you want to use as a, uh, let's say a reference, right? So uh, here I am in just Google Images and I just typed in, you can see running uh, cycle.gif and I kind of randomly clicked on this one and it seems uh, pretty good, right? Uh, so what would be the second step once we find it? The second step would obviously be saving it, right? So you want to right click and do save image as. All right, we're on step three. Step three would be uh, finding out a quick converter, just a free online converter that you can take your GIF file and transfer it to PNG uh, image sequence. So I just randomly tried both of these on the very top and they work fantastic. So if you click on this one and uh, just simply say choose file, select the, uh, select the run cycle GIF file and then just simply say convert, it's going to give you a, a zip file with the PNG images in it, right? So uh, once you download that, uh, go ahead and go into Maya and uh, in Maya just simply do this. Uh, let's start a new scene, right? So the uh, very first step is gonna be grabbing a plane. I'm just gonna drag a plane right here, that's fine. Let me move it up a little bit so I kind of go over the grid. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna assign a, uh, let's just assign something like Lambert so we don't have any reflections, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and go to my uh, color, select, on the, select my file, and in here in the image name, select your uh, PNG folder. Once you select your folder, you can see that the images that you downloaded are actually in the sequential order, right? That was the whole point of converting our GIF. So I'm, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press on this zero one on the very first one and say open. Once I've done that, I'm gonna click on this little image here to turn on my textures. All right, so once the uh, image shows up, just make sure you turn on your image uh, sequence right here. And if you press play, you should see your character uh, being animated. And then of course, the last and the final step is going to be adjusting um, your timeline. So uh, this, uh, if I scrub uh, through, I can see that the animation plays all the way up until uh, frame 21, which just means I come to my timeline, I switch this to 21, and currently I have it at 24 uh, frames per second, which is fine. If I press play, I can see that now I have this uh, great reference image, right? So holding down the J key, I can rotate my um, reference 90 degrees. I can also, uh, you know, bring it back, maybe align it a little bit better. And then of course the uh, final step, and this is important, you wanna go to your channel box, create a layer, and then set your layer to a reference so you can select it. And now uh, you have this amazing reference image of any animation you want from dancing to walking to running, right? and you can just uh, bring your uh, rig right in front and then use this as a uh, shot you know frame by frame reference to animate your characters so this is a brilliant way to uh, take advantage of those amazing uh, gif files and start saving them and start using them so i hope you find this uh, useful and uh, thanks for watching this video and i'll see you next one